Welcome to Lecture Online. Now here's an example that really lends itself to solving using the graphical method. We have a ball that's rolling down a hill. For the first five seconds to reach a certain distance, the distance is unknown. We are asked to find that distance, but during the second five seconds of its trip, as it continues to accelerate at a constant acceleration, it will cover a distance of 150 meters. The question is, what is the distance covered during the first five seconds? So what we're going to do here is graph a velocity versus time graph and see what we get. So here's the vertical axis, which is the velocity, the horizontal axis, which is time. So we know that the velocity increases at a constant acceleration. Oop, should be constant acceleration. There we go. For the first five seconds, we get up to this velocity. So that would be, let's call it V1. And of course, time is in seconds, velocity is in meters per second. And then after another five seconds, when we reach 10 seconds, like so, we have reached our final velocity that would be V2. Okay, so what's interesting here, and maybe I'll move this over just a little bit so it's a, kind of halfway in the middle. So what we can say is that the area here, called that area one, that is equal to the distance covered during the first five seconds, and here, area two, is the distance covered during the second five seconds. All right, now if I take a look at area two and I divide that into two areas, I have a triangular portion and I have a rectangular portion together that adds up to the 150 meters. Also notice that this triangular portion is exact same shape and size as this triangular portion, so this should be equal to this. So I can also call this A1. And of course, A1 plus A2 together is 150 meters. A1 by itself is what we're looking for. All right, what I can do then is I can say, okay, I know that A1 plus A2 is equal to 150 meters. So A1 plus A2 is equal to 150 meters. And I can then say that A1 plus A2 is equal to the area of the triangle, which is one half the base times the height of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle, which is the length times the width of the rectangle. So let's plug in some numbers and see what we get. Notice that A1 plus A2 is 150 meters, so it's 150 is equal to one half times the base. Now the base would be the base of the triangle, which is five seconds, and the height Hmm, the height is, of course, the increase of the speed. That would be V2 minus V1. That would be V2 minus V1 plus the length, uh, the length of the, the rectangle, that would be 5, and the width of the rectangle would be V1. Now, notice that the increase in speed since the acceleration is constant and the slope is constant, that, mean, that means that the change in velocity going from here to here should be the same as the change in velocity going from there to there. So V2 minus V1 should also equal V1. So we can say that V2 minus V1 equals V1. So therefore, we know that V2 equals 2 times V1, or V1 is equal to 1 half V2. So that means that in the same amount of time, we increase the velocity the same amount, which makes sense when it's constant acceleration. So I can rewrite this as V1. So we can say that 150 is equal to 1 half times 5, which is 2.5 times V1 plus 5 times V1, which means that, let's move over here a little bit, that 150 is equal to 2.5 plus 5 or 7.5 times V1, or that V1 is equal to 150 divided by 7.5, which is equal to 20 meters per second. And if V1 is equal to 20 meters per second, then V2 is twice that, so 2 times 20 meters per second. That means V2 is equal to 40 meters per second. But now that we know what V1 is equal to, right here, we can now, of course, look at our area 1 triangle, A1, which is equal to one half the base times the height, which is equal to one half the five seconds times the height, which would be V1. V1 is 20 meters per second. Uh, let's see here. That's right. So seconds and seconds cancel out. One half times that is 10 times five, which is 50 meters, which is the distance covered during the first 
five seconds. So first five seconds, we cover a distance of 50 meters. Second five seconds, we cover a distance of 150 meters. Another way of looking at it is, if you draw a diagonal line through area two, you can then see that this area one is equal to this area one is equal to this area one. So we have one, two, three times area one. So this is three times the distance traveled here. Since this is 150 meters, that's three times the distance here of 50 meters. And that works out as well. So the graphical method can show you sometimes very tricky and easy ways to find a solution that otherwise would take a lot of mathematics. So that's how we do this particular problem.